Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about educational VR entertainment and the practical uses of virtual reality. Very nice to meet you if you're here for your first time to the platform and a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. Now today I'm going to give you the best tips and best practices as to how to use an IR illuminator so that you never lose tracking whatsoever under any lighting conditions with your Oculus Quest 2. I'd also like to take this opportunity to give a huge shout out to Between Realities who basically host monthly podcasts, interviewing all the most famous people you can think of inside of virtual reality. Skiba, thanks a lot for purchasing our merch. You are awesome. A quick disclaimer that you will be needing a Facebook account in order to use your Oculus Quest 2. Facebook have been proven to have breached already antitrust and anti-competitive laws. However, if you want to know the best privacy tips so that you don't have to worry so much anymore when you use your Oculus Quest 2 with a Facebook account, then go and check out the video that I uploaded very recently. Do note that this will not work for any other VR headset that do not not use infrared technology for the track-in which includes the Pico Neo 2, the DPVR, also any base station based VR headset and also the HP Reverb G2, they simply will not be compatible with this light. Remember to join the notification squad and enable the notification bell after you hit subscribe so you never get to miss another video which I upload to the channel quite frequently. So this is basically what it looks like after you take it out of the box. You can see all the LEDs here and this thing is really tough as nails. I've dropped it so many times, believe me, I've lost count. Of course, not on purpose, completely accidentally, but it's never failed me. The glass has never cracked, the LEDs inside have never, never had an issue, honestly. And then here basically you have the area where you can mount it. So either you can mount it on a wall or generally what I do is boom, I put it, not on my thumb, I put it on a tripod. When you set up your lights, make sure that they are at the same level as the VR headset. So just imagine that you're the VR headset and you're at the same level. Don't put it higher or don't put it lower. Don't put it two meters away from you, you know, for two reasons. First of all, you might actually damage yourself by knocking it over. And secondly, because the further you put it away, the more angle, the more rays will actually go towards the VR headset, which means you'll amplify the amount of potential tracking using something like this. So put it between four to six meters. That is generally the recommended distance. And by the way, very good news. You can get 10 to 20% off any item inside of our merch store until December 16, 2020. So go and check out the promo code in the description below the like button. Now, the other tip is there will be different kind of infrared illuminators which you can purchase. Make sure you purchase one that can, you know, send rays at least 15 meters and more. You don't want to get something that, you know, only sends it to a few meters. Now, do know that when you're going to turn around and rotate, you might actually lose tracking because, of course, if you put it facing towards you, well, that means that it's only going to send whatever is required for you to track in front of you and not around you or behind you. So generally, if you only want to get one, then I would generally put it to a corner and then turn it towards the VR headset so that when the person is actually turning one direction or the other, then they won't lose tracking as much as when you put it face front. So what I generally did is I had two, I put one on either side and then I rotate them so that basically the angle of amount of infrared that was sent back to the VR headset was more than enough to make sure that I didn't lose any tracking of any kind. And then of course, what you could do is place one in front and then one behind you, so that if you're playing games, for example, like Beat Saber 360, then you will never lose tracking ever again. Make sure that when you purchase one of these IR illuminators, that the angle at which it sends out the rays is 90 degrees or above, because of course, the less the field of view, then the less amount of area is going to cover. By the way, there are other videos which we released quite recently that you may want to go and check out, including the news about the AR VR Apple headset, as well as the best prescription lenses for the Oculus Quest and Oculus Quest 2. If you are going to play outdoors during the daytime, make sure that you do not install this directly under the sun and make sure you do not, of course, place yourself with your VR headset on under the sun directly as well. As this is very dangerous, do not do this under any circumstances. 
So make sure that when you play under the sun, you install both this and also place yourself under some kind of tentage or an area that's covered where the sun rays do not shine directly on you and your VR headset. In terms of mirrors and reflective areas, I still recommend you should definitely avoid these kind of areas. But when I was using an IR illuminator, I found that I didn't really have any issues with the tracking. So it's very possible that you will also experience the same thing, but do avoid any reflective areas or areas that have mirrors around at all costs. <music>